welcome to my August favourite video. I've never actually done a favourites video before, but it was my birthday on the 18th of August, so to be honest, these are all just birthday presents, or most of them anyway, but there's a couple of random other things in there, and I will get started straight away. So the first thing is a blender. This is a cardboard box, but the thing that was inside this when I opened it on my birthday was a Breville Blend Active. The cool thing about this is that the thing that you put your ingredients in is the same thing that you drink out of, so there's no like extra cleaning up to do, it's the quickest thing ever, and I've pretty much been having one every day that's been possible. I would genuinely recommend this, it's so good for just getting more fruit into your diet, and it's on Amazon, I will leave the link below. Next thing is actually a film and a music favourite, because it's Guardians of the Galaxy. I saw it a couple of weeks ago, and it's so fun. I find it very hard to criticise films when their main purpose is to entertain me, and that is exactly what this film did. It was just the perfect sort of sci-fi that doesn't take itself too seriously, which is my favourite genre of sci-fi. So I would really recommend that you go see it, but also a quick mention to the incredible soundtrack. Now I'm not a person who thought I was that into 80s music, but they really do some good moments in this film to put some really good songs in there. Uh, I love Cherry Bomb and I love pretty much everything else. So next is a TV program from the past. Uh, it is Lost. If you've ever heard me talk about Lost before, you will know I'm a pretty big fan. I think it's one of my favourite American TV programmes and it's been really great to be watching it back uh, and finding all the stuff because I honestly haven't watched the whole first season all the way through since I watched it. God knows how many years ago, like seven years ago, or something crazy. It's still refreshing to see a TV show focus so much on character development and making you actually really care about the characters, even though there are so fucking many of them. So the next thing was another birthday present of mine, which my ridiculous boyfriend got me. It's a 3DS. And this is an XL Red, obviously. And I've been playing this non-stop. Oh my goodness. With it he got me Kirby Triple Deluxe, which is such a perfect platformer for people like me that kind of suck at platformers. Not to say it's easy or anything, but it's more puzzle based and kind of just the powers that you get, uh, you have to figure out what to do with them and it's just it's really fun. I feel like I've said fun like a million times in this video. Fun! My sneaky brothers and my boyfriend were in cahoots with each other and they both got me DS games as well to add to my collection. So my brother Tom got me Frost Layton vs Phoenix Wright. <sighs> I've only played about half an hour of this game and I already know it's going to be one of my favourites. Uh, if you've never heard of this game, it's actually two of my favourite DS games of all time combined. And of course the final one that I have to talk about is Animal Crossing. That game is so addictive. On the first week of having it, I've already got an upstairs polka dot themed, a downstairs basement that's like video game themed, and an open plan pink cutesy kitchen slash living room with a hammerhead shark called Hammy. And can I just say, look how symmetrical my town is. Oh yeah. Talking about games, but onto a slightly different one, I got a board game for my birthday. Now, when I say board game to a lot of people, they have a similar expression on their face because, to be honest, most people when they think of board games think of Monopoly and boring, like, rainy days. And that's fair enough because that's what they played. But there are so many cool card and board games out there to be played. Dixit is by far my favourite board game that I've ever played. It falters from the fact it has a really dumb name, which as far as I can tell doesn't have anything to do with the actual gameplay of the game, but it's more about your and your friend's interpretation of different imagery. Don't know how interesting that sounds to some people, but to me, it's my favourite thing, and it has these beautifully illustrated cards that you have to describe to each other, and I won't go into the full details of the game because it, it's not complicated but it's hard to explain without just playing it. And if you're at all interested in getting into the board game realm of interest, <laughs> then I would definitely pick up Dixie. Next is a book, and this was another birthday present, but this is The Art and Flair of Mary Blair. If you've never heard of Mary Blair, she's one of the biggest influences 
in my illustration life. So please take time to Google her. She was known for her 1950s Disney concept art to things like Alice in Wonderland and Peter Pan. Actually not my favourite Disney films, but stunning artwork involved in them, so I don't mind. But this is by far the best book that I found to really get a grip of all of her work and some photos that I've never seen anywhere else. But I would definitely recommend just looking at her online and if you're interested in concept art or Disney artwork then this is a really good book. This is my Powerpuff Girl t-shirt. I got it from Primark and it was about six, maybe eight pounds, um, worth every single penny. Powerpuff Girls is actually my favourite cartoon of all time. As if I couldn't get any cooler in this August favourites, but I love it so much. It's so much deeper than you think it's going to be. It's, it's seen as a very cutesy show, but it's it's different. <laughs> Pattern on it is actually a little bit faded, which is really nice because it makes it a little bit more subtle, uh, a little bit, I was about to say less obvious you're wearing a Powerpuff Girl t-shirt, but not really. Not really at all. People know. <laughs> but yeah, that is everything. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.